This generation of teenagers, more than any other that I can remember, seems like a generation without hope. If you pay attention to this generation, you'll notice there's very little optimism or hope for their future, and they feel like a cloud of heaviness is over their lives. Many young people in this generation feel like their lives are without meaning and without purpose. They're like the walking dead. They're alive, but they experience no life. And it's no wonder they're so sad when you consider what they're up against. Statistics tell us that one-third of teens in the United States have been drunk at least one time in the past 30 days. That's millions of teenagers getting so drunk they don't even remember what they did the night before. That's thousands of bad decisions that will affect teenagers for a lifetime. 21% of teenagers in the United States claim to be regular users of illegal drugs. Many of these teenagers don't realize that the decisions they make today will lead to a lifetime of drug addiction and the chain of dependency. Because of this, thousands of families will experience the pain of watching the slow strangulation of addiction take the life of their loved ones. In October of 2011, the body of a teenager was found on the shores of Cayuga Creek, less than two miles from where you're sitting right now. After a night of partying, the young man overdosed. What did his friends do? They dumped his body and left him in an effort to stay out of trouble. No wonder our students feel like the hopeless generation and the walking dead. More teenagers are living in single-family homes because of divorce than at any other time in history. Every year, 900,000 teenagers in America call 911 or their local police department to report being abused in their own homes. No wonder teenagers feel hopeless when even their own home feels like it's not safe. Studies have shown that as many as 40% of students in this generation admitting to self-inflicting wounds on themselves. Cutting in teenagers is becoming common as kids inflict pain on their outsides because they have no idea how to deal with the pain on the inside. Feelings of overwhelming hopelessness have led one in five teenagers in this generation to contemplate suicide. And every year in the United States of America, 1,500 teens make the ultimate decision and take their own lives. Many teens among the walking dead feel like if they become sexually active that this will lead to satisfaction and fulfillment, but more often than not there are horrible and unexpected consequences. One out of every four sexually active teenage girls are carrying a sexually transmitted disease. Many don't even know it because the disease lies dormant and they have yet to experience any symptoms. Many won't figure it out until years down the road when they can't get pregnant and wonder why and their doctor informs them that they have an STD and will never be able to have a child. Though these statistics are true, teenagers rarely hear the truth about the dangers of sex outside of marriage. Though these statistics are sobering and even scary, and even though this generation faces many challenges, there still remains hope. There is a light that shines, even in the darkest of nights. And even though this generation might seem like the walking dead, there is someone who has the power to bring the dead back to life. Jesus.